What's wrong? Oh. Are you the... An enemy. The sword breaker did? Holy shit. That sword. Is that Storm Quell? A demon wielding a foreign made sword. You must be the sword builder. No, Armored fiend. Weak to water. Resistant to wind. Not Resistant to wind. I'm just taking wind off. Just so they don't bother trying to use it. Was it weak to water, I see? Dodging down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my dodging down now. <laughs> Overkill for the last move. Lethal pain. Oh, is it gonna get up and go away? I'll take this one. <laughs> Come and get me. It, that's what. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Going to stab. It's a ton three. Hopefully he doesn't try and do it to me. Sorry. I just got a little riled up. Oh, there's another sight to him. Do you know that demon? No, but I know his sword. A blade called Stormquell. Stormquell? Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. It Let's will. Let's just get to the portal. Everything's got everything to do with us. In this game. In any game. Uh... 
I learned shooting star and burning moon. Amber boots, mastery, okay. Uh, armory, acerite. Is that two? Like I I. I think so. Uh, it's my first Tales game. No, I did play Tales of Vesperia. Uh, last year. Before Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out, because I paused playing that for Assassin's Creed Valhalla and then finished it after I'd finished Valhalla. I enjoyed it. Um, and years, years and years and years ago, I played the PSP, is it Tales of Eternia? That's a good one as well. That is really good. Holy shit, you know when you get a game and you go through it and there's there's only certain games that have done this to me where I get to certain parts in the story where I just want to push the story. I don't want to go and explore that kind of, or whatever, right? I just want to push the story because it's really good. That's what Tales of Vesperia had going for it. It was really good in that respect. The combat, I, I wasn't as sold on the combat. I, I forgot a lot of what there was and I'm not even sure how to activate certain uh, moves and whatnot. But I really enjoy the combat in this one. Uh, has it been that long? Yeah. Because I, I paused it. I, I don't think I was far from the end as well. Uh, when I got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I played through all of that and back, went back to Vesperia. So that would have been... I can't even remember when I finished that. It took me, what, 200 hours? Ish? I didn't that much for Valhalla. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Ooh, Tales of Rise is out. Next one. Was it 10? September? Try the Rise demo. PS5? I think it's on PS4 as well. I think I, I probably will get it at some point, but I'm not in any rush to, to play it straight away. Because I'm, I'm having a really good time with this. It's just so satisfying! I had a big pause. Yeah. Every wait, any no, it was just an enemy defeated by Mystic Cards. Okay. And increases HP regeneration rate by 50% for characters not participating in combat who are wearing equipment that has been enchanted, not enchanted, enhanced a combined total of 10 more times. Um, you can feel yourself getting older. You don't like it? I, I mean, I'm, I still act like I'm a teenager sometimes. I game. I still play games like I was a teenager. I probably play more games now than an adult than I did then. <laughs> oh, I'm brilliant. Oh, okay. Title. God, I forgot there's gonna be enemies here. It's just arm carnage. It's, it's like a whole nice, you know, lights and sound show. But it's it's not as overbearing their um, combat lines ours. in combat. <laughs> Get off my intellectual property. Oh, okay, what's the midi blouse? Hmm. Let's go and change this. Ah. Well, we will get you that. Amber boots. Okay. Command shoes. You... Yeah. A 
And I don't even know what that is, though. Protective women's wear that sacrifices defense to maximize mobility. Wear with caution. Oh, where? No, 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 hold on. The game done something weird for me. Let's go Everyone dangerous encounter. Oh, this is not a good start. Oh, crap. Okay. Restrain? There should be no restraining going on. Tales of Rise is better than this. Holy shit. I'm not sure how. Oh, oh no, I'm getting targeted. Oh, we're spaced out. Like crazy. No. Let's go. Oh, you went in there? Yeah, it was a hit. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. Of course, I get the item. That I hadn't been able to get for a while. Of course, of course that happens. Oh. Anything hidden here? I don't think so. So there's three chests left on the map. Um yeah, there's some in areas I can't get to. Not with my oh. said, I'm sorry about what happened back there. Current abilities. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? Even if your life is at risk? Yep. Why? Actually, I'm not too sure There's myself. There's a war demon, is it not? Huh? There's somebody out there I need to defeat by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that, I need to be a better swordsman. Someone you have to defeat. In a sword fight, yeah. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs I think Rokuro might be my favorite character a lot so far. Hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. Why do you need to win that badly? <laughs> to be honest, it beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. Uh, okay. Is that how you thank someone for saving your oh, life? Oh, Eleanor. Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. And no offense and all, but why do you care? You don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. <sighs> you I didn't even have a chance there. Ooh. All the hits. Oh, 
all goodbye. What's this? Are we done already? Our expedition has returned. Right, Take last item. This. I got one item in this area. Well, Still well. get. Now here's a fine haul. Ooh, sea monster master. Unyielding. Wait, what's unyielding mean again? We won't lose. We fight until we win. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to dispatch you in the difficult area then. The Astras Sea. Scout ship setting sail. Hmm. Is this our way out? Or a way out? So much glee missing a bunch of enemies. This straight, you know how you got some games like mentioned before, you can really into the story and whatnot, right? Like we that the Tales of Estia part of it. But also uh, Rogue Galaxy. End of that? Holy shit. I wish, I so wish they had created another one. They could have picked up from the end of that. That was such a good game. And that was one that definitely had me, you know, hooked with the story and towards the end. I climb up there. You better be ready. You never tried it? Really good. There is one thing which is a little annoying with it. Um, so the the crafting system is a little strange. So you got your basic weapons. Say you got like a basic kind of sword. To craft certain weapons, you need maxed out versions of weapons. So your weapon gets, I guess, experience towards its level, and then you max it out, which is great, you know. And then you can combine other weapons together and get a stronger weapon. Now, I, I do think you have to do this like multiple times. It's like a weird kind of pyramid, like that and that goes to that, but then you need to go and get that weapon, which means you need two other swords or that kind of thing. So, um, when you progress to a certain point, what the game does is it mixes the older enemies at the beginning, so you know, the easier things, with more difficult enemies. So you haven't, or at least from what I could tell, what I found, you've not really got an area that you can grind these weapons. And so you can't have multiple people with really crap weapons on, even if you try to level them. Because the game has hit that point where you've got... You, you could either have a really nice selection of enemies, like the easier early game enemies, or you get post certain part of the story enemies, and you're like, shit, you've hit a brick wall. Um, I never... well, I didn't really go out my way to find a grinding spot though, I was just kind of trying things out. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, it, it was it was good, apart, apart from that. 
But if you're doing one character's weapons, I, I, you can get away with it. But no, the story though. If you're playing it for the story, it's a good story. I think it was, was it not like kind of titled as a contender to Final Fantasy in some way? And even its looks though, it holds up well because it's got that, that cell shaded um, style. Try it at some point. It's, uh, I played it on the PS4 because it's one of the, it's a PS2 game. I don't know if it's on other consoles, but it's definitely on the PS4, you can get it on uh, the store. I do like that you can get some older games. <clears throat> No, I, I had it years and years ago on the PS2. I mean, I still got it. Um, and I did play it. And I never finished it. And I was like, it's on offer. On sale. Let's go for it. And have a look. See what I'm missing getting. <laughs> Let's get some updates. You know, trophies and. Made for, uh, for an HD. Well, I don't know. How did they have it? Did they have it for. Three to four ratio? Ratio? What? Ratio. Or did they have it like screen? Can't remember anyone. Yes, kick the air. Put the fear of your feet flying through the air Your towards the enemy. Into them. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Oh, sometimes I set off these these moves and it's not. Okay, we've had the Guardian, the Calcite. Chocolate or weathered? Well, I think weathered. We got the weathered one first. We'll go weathered. Simple ribbon. Oh, we don't have any more! No! Uh, play some older games are nostalgic sometimes, same watch. Yeah, I, I think I like older games. So yeah, okay, new games have got all, like, you know, polish and the shine and maybe some better systems depending on the game series. But you do get some pretty good older stories. Uh, and maybe some interesting things that were done in games. Hey, we got a cat. I don't know, I, I don't really shy away from it. I don't... I'm not too bothered about, like, graphics. As long as it works. Don't waste my time. Don't oh, You're, like, blocking me every time. You're trying to hurt me. Oh, I love my shoes. Give them long legs. I forget, I've got something that can break the guard by blocks for two seconds. I mean, even some of it's nice for me going back to games that I've maybe not finished, but I definitely like, attempted to play years and years and years ago. For some games? Yeah, I had. Okay, attempted but didn't finish. Three and four. I've got. I've got three versions of three. I've got the original PS2. I've got the FPS edition PS2. I've got the P3P PSP version. Um. The ones I'd be interested in are the first one and the second one on the PSP. Because they're a little different. I have started the first one multiple times, never got through it because I 
I don't like looking at a handheld screen, but it's different streaming it because I can hook it up to my TV um, and not have to like constantly look down at a smaller screen. Yeah. They're all pretty pretty good though. They've got they've got like some good things going for themselves. When I first played Oh, I can't go over there. Damn it. When I first played three, um there was this like almost shock. Maybe not a shock. It was something I hadn't seen in the game. So at the beginning of the game, you're going through and then suddenly character comes over and they it looks like they pull out a gun and then they aim it at their head and I'm like what the fuck is going on it was right at the very beginning it's the what, is it, what did they call it the ev evokers that's something that always like was memorable uh, it was five, you only know how good it was. Characters, music, and looking at the game is top notch. Oh, yeah. I haven't played five myself, but I've seen it streamed like a number of different streamers. And the music, yeah. They were really good with their music. Now, there's, there's a couple of other SMT games. Oh, Not Persona, but the Shin Megami Tensei so series I've got. I would love to try and get to. Hey, Eleanor? Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Well, how noble. <laughs> oh, I got it! Go like, Bell was like... The tragic tale of the sword storm Slave quell. Man. Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers. Once, centuries past... There was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. Its forger shrouded in mystery. So mighty was each swing of the sword, it produced howling winds that could level mountains. No other sword could match its power. The people, in their superstition, began to call it the God Blade. This God Blade, is it Stormquell? Shush! The tale is merely beginning. Now. There was one man who was truly enamored with the God Blade. His name was Kurogane, a blacksmith of wondrous talent. His heart was set on forging an even greater sword, and he had a name in mind for this sword. Stormquell, the sword to conquer the God Blade's roaring winds. And did he make it? Kurogane forged scores of challengers to the God Blade, but each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling hey, wind. Apple. Some say the wielder of the God Blade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth hey, is Arthur? lost to the dusty cobwebs of no. history. But perhaps he and his grudge hey, towards the thank God you Blade as well. somehow yet live. A you cool demon boy. He's centuries. there. You hear tall tales like this all the time. That sword and its inscription we saw were probably just inspired by the legend. <laughs> perhaps. But if that's the real Stormquell... We should all sleep with one eye open tonight. What makes you say that? Because that god blade Kudogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations. Its name is Stormhell. <laughs> In other words, we could well bump into your armored friend again. Let's hurry it up. Yeah, did it hold on. Uh, you played four after. Oh, did you enjoy four? Yeah, there, there's, there's a difference between them, especially when you go back to the earlier first one of the games. Uh, we're friends with a crying girl. Yeah, you missed. Yeah, friends. To, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She is... Okay, so, you know that Lefacet is the Malak. And they can have a vessel. So they, they can be, like, attached to someone. Like, Bienfu is to Magilu, um as they were to Eleanor before. So whatever happened when we went through the portal, I can't remember how they tried to explain it, uh, but if Lafacet didn't get connected, uh, he would turn into a demon. 
And at that point, Eleanor, who was the crying girl, the exorcist, the, the praetor exorcist, she was like, I'm here. Um, and then after that, she went, but you will have to fight me one on one. If you win, I'll do what you say until I die. If I win, she would kill Velvet. Uh, Velvet. Uh, she lost, but I, I, she's got some some dodgy stuff going on. She there was a, a glowing orb that after the the night of resting because Eleanor kind of fell ill because of the 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 binding the bond that it formed. So after the night of rest, she followed the orb out, and it was uh, Artorius. And then I'm. I don't quite know what she's gonna do. She's gonna abide by Artorius's words, or oh, it's 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 a tricky one. I know, be gone, demon. 